name is Ethan Palermo and I'm working on a human powered helicopter. I've been working on this for the last 15 years or so and have many different prototypes. And this is one of my latest ones right here. <clears throat> uh, this is actually made out of construction materials. I mean, I'm, a, I'm in construction, so that's what I do. For example, like the framework is made out of the aluminum from the sides of a ladder. And the rotor blade is actually going to be skin with aluminum metal that's used to make uh, aluminum gutters. So that's an example of how I'm going with this. This is a, a low-tech approach. I don't have the money for high-end composites or access to a supercomputer, so I'm doing it this way. Uh, my idea is to create power for the lift through tip propellers at the end of the rotor blades. And basically it's going to be a propeller at the end of the rotors which will spin at high speed and give it thrust thereby moving the rotor blades around and giving it lift. <clears throat> uh, the advantage of that is by doing that system I don't have to have a tail rotor which will add more weight and more complexity. So basically I'm going to be sitting here, it's going to, well I mean I'm too heavy to do this, I have to get someone that's lighter. But someone will be sitting here, my pilot will be pumping the legs and moving these gears which should turn the rod that's inside here <clears throat> and this will go out in a T gear to each end of the rotor blades. As well, I'm going to have a hand movement to facilitate the actions of the gears. So it's be a dual action, pumping legs and pumping arms. <clears throat> uh, right now this is pretty heavy, so I'm hoping that I get enough lift with what I have. But if not, then I can try to go some lighter material. So my plan is, is to have these set on scales <clears throat> once I get everything put together, and then I can see if I'm getting any lift on this thing. But with this kind of contraption, I'm able to change things as I go along. If something doesn't work, I can change the gears around or change my configuration slightly. So it's kind of a go as I, as I go along, just kind of creating it. <clears throat> uh, anyway, I will soon have more videos on how this works. I'm not going to show the full extent of it until I actually do the contest. Uh, but one thing to know is that the rotor blades of their work is going to be pretty novel. It's a whole different configuration. And anyway, this is a pretty exciting contest, you know, it goes back to the days of Leonardo da Vinci, who in those days everything was human power, or mule power, or cow power. So it's, it's kind of fun to do something back in those days, creating an, an, a, a, a contraption that's a modern vehicle using human power. And it's actually harder to do that than it would be to use, use technology. Anyway, so this is an exciting project and I hope to win it. And I'll keep you informed as I do more videos. Thanks.